Wrigley Spearman Chewing Gum invites you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as the squad. You know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is giving daily enjoyment to millions of people all over America, in offices and factories, on farms and ranches, in mine fields and oil fields, folks find that chewing Wrigley's Spearmint helps them feel better and work better. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad that their product is proving helpful and enjoyable to so many people, and they're glad, too, that they're able to bring you Life with Luigi, because they know it's the kind of a radio program that millions of Americans enjoy. Let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Vasco in it. Dear Mama me, <laughs> the most wonderful thing in America is the mail. And they got a saying here, near a snow or a sleet or rain or a slush, is it going to stop at the mailman? Mamma mia, is not only not to stop him, but two, three times a day, male man is to come into my store and I bring in the rain, the snow, and the slush with her. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm happy to see him, because every day he's to bring me lots of letters. Most of the time, they're from people I'm a don't know asking me to buy things I'm a don't need with the money I'm a no got. <laughs> like I can take it this morning. I'm received the from an insurance company letter. Then the coupon, that's a good for one of free cake of soap if I'm a buy two dozen or more. <laughs> then I'm going to get a free box of breakfast of cereal, which I'm going to eat because I forgot to send it the cream. <laughs> but a bigger thing in the mail is a mail order business. That's the way they get their business for the mail order houses. They're very clever because they do big business and they pay no rent. On every corner where there's a green mailbox, they got their department store. <laughs> Today I'm receive a catalog from a store is called uh, Consolidated Merchandise Company. Hey, you should have seen this a beautiful a catalog. It's got everything: a shoes, a toys, a groceries, a clothes. They got the what do you want, and they send you. Is it like a Marshall plan? Or you pay for everything yourself? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm never buy from a man of the house before. So, like a real American, I was looking it through a big book to pick out something. When he's a come into my store, man in a chauffeur's a uniform. Oh, hello. How do you do, sir? Is there, is there something I'm going to do for you? Oh, hello. Uh, say, the other evening, my boss and I were cruising by here when he noticed an antique you'd like to have in your window. Oh, that's a nice. Yes, we uh, stopped and knocked on your door, but there was no answer. It was about 8.30. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, you see, I'm, I'm going to go to night school uh, all the time in the evening. Oh, night school, huh? That's interesting. Yeah, but what antique are you interested in? Uh, that banjo clock in the window. My boss was very excited about it. Oh, Miss Sari. That antique clock is already sold. Sold? To whom? To me. <laughs> you? Yeah. You see, I'm in love with that clock too much. So every time somebody is coming to buy, I'm going to buy it the first. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, uh, you can't make much money that way. Well, maybe it's true. But money is to make you happy. I'm happy, so what if I'm going to need the money? <laughs> well, listen, my boss is very wealthy. He owns a big department store, and he wants that antique very badly, and he'll pay. Big as a pa- he's, he's a millionaire? Yes. He's crazy about antiques. In fact, he's bugs on the stuff. He's a what? <laughs> bugs on the stuff. Well, you tell him he should use a good spray. They're never going to bother him another <laughs> I simply can't go back to Mr. Mitchell without that clock. Oh. Then maybe, uh, maybe he's uh, want to sell it to somebody else in his store. Oh, huh? no, no. He loves antiques. That's his life. Oh, well, that's uh, different. If a man is a lover so much, then, uh, well, I'm not going to refuse. I'll let him have a clock for a while. Oh, thanks. That's very nice of you. That's all right. 
Do you know, before you was to come in, I was doing something that to make me feel very American. And now I'm a feel even more. This is my first sale I've ever made to to millionaire. Well, this millionaire is a very plain guy, just like you and me. Ah, huh. just like uh, you and me, huh? Sure. It's the same with all millionaires. Take away their money, and what do you got? Twenty years in a jail. <laughs> Well, I'll pay you now. Oh, no, no, and... no, no, no. No, first, uh, first I'm, I'm going to clean him up for nice. And then uh, after I'm going to clean him up, uh, you can get it to maybe tomorrow morning. All right, well, that's very nice of you. Look, here's my card if you want me, but I'll be here in the morning. And, uh, of course, you won't sell it. No, 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 don't worry. I'm, I'm going to put a bigger deposit on it myself. What? I made it for you this time. Goodbye. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Mamma mia, what banana? My first sale to to millionaire. Hmm. Even in my blood is the beginning to feel rich. Luigi, my fellow boob. Hello, hello, Shusha. How you feel, huh? Oh, the same as always. Terrible. <laughs> as far as you know me, Luigi, smile. What are you polishing there, a guitar? Uh, no, it's a banjo clock. Banjo clock? Yes. Yeah. Well, if we want to tell the time, soon we're going to have to call the musicians' union. Uh, <laughs> what are you so happy about? I should say, if, if I were going to sell, tell somebody, I'm going to bust. Today I made a big business deal with, with a millionaire. A millionaire? J.P. Morgan? No. John D. Rockefeller? No, a fellow who owns big in the patrimony store. So what's to be so cocky about? Next week is income tax day. He'll be a pauper like the rest of us. <laughs> don't worry. For that clock, he'll be able to pay you. How much are you charging him? Forty dollars. And how much did it cost you? Thirty-nine. One dollar profit? Luigi, a man can get to be a millionaire just by doing business with you. You think it's the wrong price? Luigi, the price you charged isn't wrong. It's indecent. <laughs> Did you already quote him a price? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not a member. Millionaire is not coming himself. He's a, he's a chauffeur over here. Ah, well, good. If he comes himself and it happens you mention the money, just take the $40. Hmm? Uh -huh. yeah, and when he hands you the cash, say the $40 is just a down payment. <laughs> down a payment? Uh-huh. And then you tell him you expect the other 65 payments promptly on the first time. <laughs> <laughs> and then you say, why fool around with credit? You make a special deal for cash, $2,000. <laughs> Wrap it up, thank you, call again, my friend, and with the profit, you open up a chain of antique shops. <laughs> no, 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 Schultz, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to charge my price at $40. Well, Luigi, the least you can do is act like a smart businessman. If you got a contact like a millionaire, you got to maneuver so you can see him in his own house. Not a chauffeur should pick up the clock and then just forget you. You mean me? Me? I'm, I'm sure to go to a millionaire's house? Sure, that's a wonderful contact. Maybe he's going to recommend you to another millionaire, and that millionaire sends you to another millionaire, and mishing around with all those rich people, some of their money is bound to rub off on him. <laughs> rub off on me? Sure. They all use new bills, and the ink is still wet. <laughs> Maybe, maybe you've got a good idea. I'm sure to go there. And, and uh, maybe I'm sure to meet the new people who's, who's you want to buy antiques. Sure. I'm, 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 I've got a chauffeur's car. He's a down the number. I'm, I'm going to call him up right now. Tell him I'm going to be there with the clock. Good, Luigi. You tell him that that's the only way he can have the clock. Don't be afraid, Luigi. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mr. Chauffeur. It's a Luigi Basco. Oh, yes? Yeah, it's my banjo clock you was uh, talking to today, remember? Oh, sure, sure. Everything okay? Oh, yeah, every, everything is a fine, uh, fine, but... Uh, go ahead, Luigi, go ahead. Well, uh, well, uh, Mr. Schoff, I was, uh, I was uh, thinking uh, maybe it would be better if, uh, if I'm uh, brought it down to you, boss, uh, myself. Uh, then, then maybe I'm, I'm could explain everything, huh? Well, all right, that'd be fine. Oh, well, uh, good. Except that Mr. Mitchell left this morning for a three-week vacation. 
see, that's why he wasn't with me when I stopped at your store. Oh. But if you'll hold the clock, I'm sure he'd be very happy to see you when he gets back. Could you do that? Yeah, what? Well, yeah, sure, sure. All right, fine. I'll call you in about three weeks, and you'll get together with him one evening. In the evening? Oh, that's a fine. Well, goodbye, Mr. Shuffle. Goodbye. Well? Oh, sure, see. Sure, everything is all fixed up. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see Mr. Metch in, in three weeks. Oh, Luigi, that's wonderful. Uh, yeah. Maybe the beginning of a new career for you. Luigi Bosco Millionaire. Uh, hey. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to give it a big laugh myself. <laughs> oh, my home is a mystery. <laughs> They're kind of solid than a merchandise company. I'm going to want to thank you very much for sending me your big, beautiful catalog, which has got so many things in it that make my head dizzy just to look at it. But I'm going to pick out something very soon, so don't worry if you don't hear from me. <laughs> just now, because Luigi, I'm... Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, Pascal. Hey, Luigi, how come you still got that banjo clock? I thought a chauffeur man was going to be here for it yesterday morning. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you. What? I'm going to call a millionaire's a house and make an appointment to see him in a person in a three weeks. Ooh, <laughs> you lucky pups, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Pascal. And I, I, I'm, I'm going to keep a step with it in the ways of doing a business. I'm a proud of you, little banana nose. <laughs> And look, <laughs> when you go to the millionaire's mansion, yes. I'm going to give you something to take along for good luck. Oh, that's very nice. What are you going to give me to take along? <laughs> My daughter, Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> that would have helped you make a big impression. Well, surely, yeah, yeah, it would have, Pesquare, but... Uh... Only I'm afraid if Rosa is making such a big impression, nobody's going to see me. <laughs> Stupid. No, please, please, Pasquale, don't act. I'm, I'm feeling too good. Besides, even if I didn't want to take Rosa, what, what excuse am I going to have? Ah, that's just the point, Luigi. It's make you Mr. Big Shots if you got a secretary. You take Rosa, you say she's your girl of Friday. No, no, I, I, that's impossible, Pasquale. Rosa is a look too much like a Saturday, Sunday, and the rest of the week. <laughs> Pascal, if you don't mind, I'm busy looking through mail or the catalog to find something I'm, I'm going to order. All right, go ahead. Don't pay no... You're going to order something, eh? Yeah. Uh, Luigi, what are you going to wear to this millionaire's house? Well, uh, so I'm going to wear it now or else I'm going to What? <laughs> Want to look at you in that corduroy suit, or Luigi, with the loose buttons, the belt in the back? Butlers are going to mail you to the Salvation Army. <laughs> huh? You've got to have a new clothes. Wait, let me see this catalog. Right. Ashcans, beds, cards for playing canazza, uh, <laughs> clothes, men's clothes. Luigi, I've got a great idea. What? You want to feel like American order from the book. All right, order a suit. As to come through the mail, it's also make you look good if you visit. Good. Hot. That's a wonderful idea, Pasquale. <laughs> sure, now you're killing the two birds with one pair of pants. <laughs> yeah, let me see what it says. Uh, send the measurements uh, by following directions. The suit will be delivered in two weeks. Two weeks? That's uh, just the timer for me. Oh, Pasquale, can you measure me? Come on, because I, I, it's hard for me to do myself. <laughs> That's to give me the greatest of pleasure, Luigi. <laughs> hey, where's your tape for measure? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, here. here okay, here. here's here. the order blank right in the book, and now we're going to start. Right. First is the waist to measure the waist of 32. Put down the waist the size of 64. Hup. Put the down of the waist the size of 64. 64, I thought you said a 32. Sure. You want just the one half for the pants? 32 inches, it covers the front. 32 inches for the back. If you get it, makes it 64. I get it? I get it. Make it the waist to 64. Uh. Same thing with a pants, a leg, a knees, a two times 18 is a 36. <laughs> a dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum is a 36. Uh. Cuffs are nice and sharp for a drape shape of 40. That's right, the drape shape is a 40. Now for a suit, the latest style, and no belt in the back. Belt all the way around. <laughs> Luigi, 
How many buttons do you want? How much? Three, like the other way. Oh, no, we make a five. Five? Huh? Sure, if you lose a button, you don't want to have to buy a new suit just to get another one. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that's right. The first letter, you're really smart. <laughs> just the twelve. Just the twelve. Huh? <laughs> Just the twelve. The suit is a split down the front. The twelve on each side. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> pockets are seven. Ah, oh, the pockets is a seven and a pocket. <laughs> but, Squally, you sure you, you're taking the right to measurement? Huh? <laughs> Don't worry, Luigi. I'm a measure to you like I never measured it before. <laughs> well, the 82. That's the 82. In the seam of six. In the seam of six. Oh, I'll be right <laughs> Return to life with Luigi, here's a good thought to remember when you're doing your family shopping. These days, we're all looking for good values, and when it comes to a taste treat for the family, you just can't find a better value than Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum. There are five sticks of Wrigley Spearmint to the package, and every stick is a delicious, long-lasting treat that's really satisfying. That means you can treat your whole family and your friends, too, at very little cost. So remember to get some Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum next time you go to the store. It costs so little, tastes so good, and it's a treat that just about everyone enjoys. And now let's turn to page two of Luigi Vasco's letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, these a few weeks ago, they flew like a bird they come in the back to the home of town in the spring. I was getting a little worried because... Because I'm a no received my suit and, and I'm a no heard it from my millionaire. So to keep myself busy, I was a figuring out how I myself could have become a millionaire. And you know something, Mamma Mia? I'm got a wonderful idea. It's easy. You just to save one dollar a week. That's right. In a million a week, so you're a millionaire. <laughs> take a long time, but uh, anyway, I was uh, thinking to call up with a company when in is a come poster man with a package. Yeah. Yeah, sure, that's right. That's in my package. A pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Mr. Reposter, man, that's, uh, that's in my suit from Mellow of the house. Who oh, ate the police? I, I, I'm going to try it on right now. And then, then I'm going to stay a little bit and tell me how it is. Huh? Hey, hey, look, how you like a material, huh? And a nice big box, is it, huh? Well, uh, isn't it a little loud? Loud? What do you talk about? Since when are you going to hear a suit to talk? <laughs> well, look at all those pockets. You got seven on the jacket alone. Yeah, but uh, Pasquale used to say it's uh, good to have a lots of pockets when you're under rich people. Well, let me see now. Hmm. That pants is a little bigger, huh? So long. And that's a funny sleeves is a different in the two. It's the wrong size. One is a long and the other one is a, is a short. The, and the sleeves and the pants. Are, and hey, uh, hey, where is it the collar? Is there no collar? Now, Mr. Foster, man, please, tell me, what do you think of my new suit? Hey, hey where's the lever? Where, where's my mirror? Oh, oh no, 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 mamma mia. Pasquale, Pasquale, hey, Pasquale, come in here quick. Hey, what's the matter? What are you hollering? Look, at you, you sound like you... Oh, look at that suit. <laughs> Looks really good out of you, Luigi. <laughs> Especially on the left leg. <laughs> what are you talking about? A Pasquale suit's a terrible. I'm not going to wear it. Oh, you better calm down or relax. Answer your telephone. Hello? Here's Luigi Basco's antique shop is speaking. Uh, hello, this is Mr. Mitchell's chauffeur. Mr. Oh. Uh, Mr. Mitchell wants you to come down for cocktails and dinner this evening. Can you make it? Uh, oh, well, I was... Uh... Well, what's the matter? You still have that clock, don't you? Yeah, well, sure, sure. I... Good, good. Then be here and bring the clock. He'll be very happy to see you. Goodbye. Goodbye. What, what? Is it what? Is it what I'm sure to come up for the cocktails or with the dinner? Well, what are you so sad about? That's wonderful. Hey, a cocktail means early. You only got about an hour. I'll give you a suit a few alterations. Fold over the pants in the back and make it a belt tight. So it look very good. 
Well, you, you think it's so, Pasquale? Sure, it was the latest of fashion. I just saw a picture in a Vogue's magazine. Are you just... Are you dead, huh? Sure, don't worry. You're going to make a wonderful impression. Good. Besides, Luigi, it's not a how you dress, it's a how you act. Sure. <laughs> Got to be a big man with yeah. a big people. Well, uh, well how am I, how, how am I going to act? All right, I'll give you, for instance, uh, you're standing around, butler comes around, he says, uh, Manhattan, Mr. Bosco? Or what do you say? I say, no, I'm never been there. <laughs> oh, stupid, a greenhorn, a bull, that's a drink. So is a martini. Martini? Hey, we got a friend with that in him. I think you better order root beer. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm a better not to go. Huh? Well, sure, go. You learn a bigger lesson there. Bigger lesson? How huh? you better off someplace else? Uh, well, what do you say? Yeah, never mind. Now remember, when you get with all them rich people, you uh, stick your tongue in your soup or like uh, this, and you say, "Well, uh, there's uh, two sides to everything." What's that to mean? Nothing. But by the time they figure this out, you already made a big impression. <laughs> Another thing, Luigi, if they want to loan you money, you act like a bigger man and refuse it. Then they offer you more, you understand? All right. Good, and I'll fix the suit on you. Stand still. All right. And let me hear you practice how you're going to act. Okay. Uh, uh, he's going to say, I'm going to have to not thank you, Mr. Butler. I'm, I'm always a drink of my friend, the Martini. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a drink of my friend. I mean, I'm a drink of root beer. And uh, how's your business, Mr. Millionaire? Uh-huh. Mine too. Oh, you want to lend me $50,000 for the antique shop? No, thanks. I'm going to take it a 50000 No, please. Don't push it. No, don't. I'm going to want it. Take the money already. I can't stand it. <laughs> 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 you know, I think I'm going to be pretty good in the day, huh? <laughs> I know you're going to be good, Luigi. Especially when they see you in this suit. They're going to say he must be a rich man. Yeah. I bet you those millionaires is a rush right out to buy pants like yours with a belt in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Basco, glad you could... Oh. Hello, Mr. Schoffer. How is the matter? Oh, you like my new suit, huh? Is it nice, huh? Oh, it's uh, new, huh? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> well, uh, you just go right in there and join the guests. I'll take the clock up to Mr. Mitchell. He'll be down in a few minutes. All right. I wouldn't be surprised if national debt reached a... <laughs> Good heavens, what's that? What? There. He just peeked his head in here again, you see. No. No, nobody but the richest man on earth would have the nerve to come to J.M.'s house and back it up. Well, you know him. J.M. knows everybody. Oh, here, here. Here he comes. Oh, hello. Hello, everybody. How you doing, gentlemen? I'm, I'm Luigi Basco. How do you do, Miss Basco? Hello. I'm Laura Stonewall. This is Mr. Ralph Jenkins. We're oh, both with Farmers Bank and Trust. Oh, you trust the farmers? <laughs> That's a pretty good. I'm a wooden ticket trust. I'm a trust everybody. Why, <laughs> tea, sir? Hey, I have a wonderful Italian marble top table. Been with the family over 50 years. Do you know anything about Italian marble, sir? Oh, sure. I'm a no plenty. If you drop, is a break in a hundred pieces. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, Mitchell isn't down yet, but he will be soon. Uh, have you known him long? Oh, no, no, no. Just, uh, just a few weeks. Uh, we got a big business deal on it. I see. And materials are very hard to get these days. What I'm selling to him is impossible to get. Oh, well, uh, suppose we could uh, get in on it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> it's uh, quite a busy day on the market today. Tape was behind five minutes. And the market? Oh, well, is it no wonder it take us so long to get to my order. Hey, you don't say, uh, did you have a large order? Oh, sure, a plenty. I'm going to need an extra basket to put them in. You don't say. Uh, got any information on UP? UP? <laughs> sure, that's up. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll put an order in tomorrow. Uh, uh, what about, uh, what about IT and T? I didn't hear you, what? Uh, what about IT and T? I can it too. That's it. <laughs> well, I'm a positive. Oh, I can see that you're a bull. I'm a what? <laughs> you're certainly not a bear. Oh, come now, come now. Let's be sure. <laughs> Are you bull or bear? <laughs> well, you should have be ashamed of yourself. I'm going to call you nothing and you calling me something. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. 
wait a minute. We were just asking you about some information on the march. Yes, you just want to know if there are any good buys you can tell us about. Well, then why are you not asking me? I was there today. I tell you right away. Best to buy in the market, that's the carrots. Carrots? <laughs> carrots? Sure, there's a two bunch of for 10 cents. That's the cheapest to buy they've been all the week. <laughs> are you talking about the stock market? No, I'm talking about a supermarket. Oh, uh, uh, super, super. <laughs> <laughs> Supermarket. Oh. Please, 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 you're not laughing. Yeah, that suit, I thought this conversation was ridiculous. That is so oh, please. Oh, there you go, Jim. Where did you ever find this funny chap? Yes, where? Mr. Basco, would you please come with me? Why, well, sure, sure. Please, Mr. Mitchell, you already got the clock. If you give him my money, I'm going to go now. I'm sorry I make you look so stupid to invite me to your house. Just a second, Mr. Basco. It's my turn to apologize. Huh? For the rudeness of my guests. Unfortunately, if they aren't discussing money, stocks, or business, they have nothing to talk about. Yeah, but they're right. My suit's are terrible. Where uh, did you get it? From a lot of places. I'm sorry they're a merchandise company, and I'm, I'm bought uh, special for you. I see. Mr. Basco, my chauffeur told me quite a bit about you. You're going to night school. You're wanting to keep the clock and letting me have it. Your passionate devotion to antiques. We find very little of that nowadays, especially from where I sit. Then maybe you should have changed your seat. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm sorry this happened. Tell me, why did you sell the clock for only $40? Well, uh, Mr. Mitchell, like I'm a tell you chauffeur, when I'm sold a clock, I'm a feel I'm, I'm a just to make a loan for a while. Sometime, I'm a want to buy back for a while. And I'm a no want to the price that should have been too high. I see. <laughs> Mr. Basco, a moment ago, you mentioned a mail-order house. Well, I happen to own a department store, but it has no connection with Consolidated. I would, however, like to make up that embarrassing moment you suffered before. Come down to my store, and we'll give you a brand new outfit from head to foot, free. No, no, free... Oh, oh, Mr. Mitchell, what, what am I going to say? I've got a lot of antiques, and they'll never be too high for you to borrow. Will you come Sunday? I'm going to come any day. With a business I'm going to do, don't make any difference to when I'm going to close up in my store. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Basco. Goodbye, Mr. Mitchell. Goodbye. Goodbye any time to you. <laughs> So, Mamma Mia, and I had my first experience with American a millionaire, and I was a very, very good. When a Pascal is to see me wearing Mr. Mitchell's new suit, he's to see how foolish he is to act. But I'm going to forgive him a quick, because I'm going to stand the one thing which is much more important. Wonderful thing I'm going to learn is how people, they people, rich, poor, and a medium. They got expression in America is, He's a very true mamma mia. And no matter who we are, we all the brothers under the closet. <laughs> Here, love and son of Luigi Vasco, an immigrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is not only good, but also good for you. After meals, for instance, chewing Wrigley's Spearmint aids digestion. Then, too, the chewing helps cleanse the teeth, helps keep them looking bright and attractive. So enjoy this pleasant, healthful chewing and the lively, delicious flavor of Wrigley Spearmint regularly. Chew Wrigley Spearmint gum after meals and between meals. Billions enjoy it daily. You will, too. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Vasco writes another letter to his Mama Vasco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and directed by Mr. Howard. Mac Ben off writes the script with Lou Dermott. J. Carol Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as the spot. This is CBS for Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>